is the defendant, Yvette Espada. She says her niece purchased a car for her from the defendant, and he sold her a real lemon. He took advantage of her and her innocence, and now he won't give her money back. She's been stranded twice. It's now stuck in her nephew's driveway, and she wants a refund and the amount she paid for $1,100. This is the defendant, John Majorani. He says he sold the plaintiff and her knees a 2004 Chrysler Pacifica. And when the deal was complete, they were hugging him because they were so happy. Later that very day, the plaintiff's niece called him and said the four wheels fell off, which he thought was strange, so he sent his guy over. The plaintiff's niece ran over one of those spike things on the ground to prevent cars from going the wrong way and was trying to blame him. Now, she wants a refund. Please! He's accused of unloading a junker. All parties, please raise your right hand. You see it, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Yvette Espada, you have the best niece ever. Is this your niece? Yes. So one fine day, you wake up to find out your niece has bought you a car. No, I was at work when okay. she called me. And, and she said, said, I bought you a car. And I'm like, you what? She said, I bought you a car. I said, Why Did you like come into money? Hmm. Well, my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute that you yes. spent it on your, you must have a really, really good relationship. We do. Yeah. We have a very good do relationship. Do you have children of your own? Yes, I do. They what didn't buy you a car. Her mom passed away. Oh. And since her mom passed away, I've been. The aunt, mother, yeah. grandmother. The cool aunt. The cool one. <laughs> right, okay. So that's awesome. So she buys you a car and what happens? He needed to put the insurance and everything under my name. Okay. So she passed him the phone. I gave him all my information. We waited three days for the car. Okay. She paid it in full. Car never got there. I get the car after the three days. She brings me the car. I go drive the car to work. Not. The car's shaking. Okay. You're getting noises out of it. The seat don't want to pull up. So I called her like, yo, where'd you get this car from? Okay. She said, I buy cars on Henderson Avenue. I said, well, he, you need to take it back because there's problems. Okay. I've had cars before. I've had my son deal with I buy cars before. So when she told me that, I told her, you should have never done that unless you told me, because I would have told you not to buy from I buy cars. Jeez, you're a grateful aunt, huh? <laughs> no, <laughs> you know why? My son had a traumatic experience okay, with I Okay, who bought the car? You did, Bianca, on yeah. your own? Like you didn't tell anybody and then you went and you purchased a car. All right, did the car come with a warranty? No, it did. Show me the paperwork that has no warranty. No, it doesn't. It has a warranty. I put well, it on why it. Are you, I well, of course it. you put, that's what I mean when I say, did the car come you, with a warranty? You to listen to me, I'm gonna tell you. She no, the car. I want you to answer me honestly the first time I, I asked you. I gave her a warranty, yes, 30 days. Okay, and there what kind go. of warranty was that? 30 days on motor and trans. Motor and trans. Drive Do train, it's called in the industry. Lower your voice. Do you have the warranty in your paperwork so that I can see what it covers? Yes, I do. Okay. Was Miss Espada ever there during, at any point in time during the actual transaction? I never met her before. Okay. Why did you say in your complaint that two, well, you said heavy set, I don't see either of them as heavy set, came to the dealership and were twerking outside, so I spoke to them and told them they were beautiful because that's how I sell cars. <laughs> Why I never said that. What I said was there were two young ladies at my place. We, we hit it off, we were talking, and, and we were having a great time. What talking. was the twerking part? They were dancing and stuff, and it was Miss Bianca I thought you knows. said you never met her before. Oh, Bianca. it was Bianca and someone not, else. Not yet, exactly, okay, another I lady. Okay, Boomer, bring it down just a little bit. <laughs> I talk bit. loud, I'm sorry. I know you honest. do, that's why I'm just reminding you. Is it, isn't there a back page to this? That's she the actual the warranty? She okay, do you have that? Yeah. There's no back page. She no, has the should... original, Your Honor. Who has the original, Bianca? You, you... Okay, that's not an this original, it's a photocopy. No, I Where's gave the, the original. I need you Hold on to find your off button, unless I'm asking you a question. You got it. Now, somebody ought to have an original with the actual warranty. It's typically printed right on the back of the original. Bianca? He never, that's what he gave us. It a was, photocopy? That's it. It was never an original, anything. That's all that that was. And that came after I kept consistently. Where's, when you signed something, how old are you? 21. You took no one with you to do this? 
When you, when you saw something that said 30 days engine and transmission, didn't you think, oh, there should be something written out to show me what that covers? No? Oh, well, I never bought a car before. All right. so. so did you bring the car back within those 30 days? We went back a few times. To get what fixed? To everything that needed to be fixed. We also asked for our money back. You sold me. When did you ask for your money back? The actual date, I don't remember. I know okay. I took off for work to come. So what's the first thing that goes wrong? You buy the car March 13th, and the first the, thing that goes wrong is what? The battery. All right, and what happens? I had to get a new battery. Okay. Plus the four tires. But if you had a 30-day warranty, what, what, did, you didn't call him about the new battery? She took the car back, because I work. I'm sorry, what, what year car was this? 2004 14. Chrysler Pacifica. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So you brought it back, and what did he do? He said, um, leave it with the mechanic. Um, they're going to fix whatever the problem is. And what was. is it that you guys did that first time when it was brought back? Any car that leaves my lot, first of all, this car wasn't sold I need to you to, I need, I, I need yeah, you, okay, stop, 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 you and I got to dance better. No problem. I'm driving the train. You are not driving the train. Yes, ma'am. I know you're large and in charge, and you're used to handling the situation. This is my courtroom. Gotcha. I'm going to handle it. Yes, so listen to what I ask and answer what I ask. What did you guys fix on that first time she brought it back? Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Can you expect that you're going to get a good car uh, if you buy a 15-year-old Chrysler? What do you say? No. How come? Just because it's old and you just can't expect it to be a good quality, you know? I don't know, 15, 15 years? Not at all. How come? 15 years, it's too old. Buy something newer and it'll be last a lot longer. Okay, there's something you're missing. What, what's, the, what's the big factor here that, that he's missing? Mileage, right? I mean, 100,000 miles is different than 18,000 miles, right? Correct. I still believe you're right, but whatever. Going inside the courtroom. She pulled up and I says, what's the problem about the tires? And I says, leave it here. My general will fix it. Don't worry about it. We'll handle it. He says, there's really nothing wrong with the front brakes, but the rear brakes you might need. So I says, I'll put them in for the young lady. I did and I left. Okay. And she left as Is well. Is there any paperwork to show yes. the work that was done that yes, day? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Did you bring it back again a subsequent time after that? And no yes. charge. And when was it that you brought it back again? A week after that. Okay. And what happened that time? The car, like, it had completely shut off and it started, like, jerking, meaning, like, in place, going back and forth. Okay. Forward and backwards. Okay. And then it was shut off, so me and my aunt had to literally push the car all the way, like, down the terrace to get it close to the mechanic that he secondly referred us to go to. Okay, how far did you push it? <laughs> a couple of blocks. You push it for a couple of blocks? And yeah. I tell you, it wasn't easy. All right, and yeah. what was the repair done that time? Um, it was in the shop for about like a week and a half after okay. that. Do you have paperwork covering that, whatever happened that time? Yes, I do, yeah. Okay, and what was it? Um, when I found out that she had an issue, she lived up the block from another shop that I used for subbing stuff, and um, I believe it wasn't pushed in. It was driven in, and my mechanic found Why a mistake. Why do you believe that? Well, because my mechanic said she drove up. So okay. I believe him. I, I do business with him. So on that, I says, uh, analyze it, think what it is. We thought it was one issue, and he says, no, I did a little homework on this, and it's a little deeper. I says, whatever it is, fix it for the young lady. So what was it that he fixed? Okay. She doesn't know, but I'm going to tell you. We put a brand new transmission in, a used transmission in a car to repair it. I have all the receipts. Why wouldn't she know that? She never asked me. She didn't yeah, even but why wouldn't to... you tell? Uh, well, she never conversed with me. She dealt with the mechanic directly then. She took his number. Okay. Did you have any information about them putting in a new transmission? No, I did not. Okay. Did you have to bring it in again? I went back to the guy, his mechanic, and I says, listen, something still is not right. He says, well, just bring it over. You know, you don't, you don't got to deal with John. I'll... I'll let you know what's going on with it. I said, after that, at that point, I was just frustrated, and I was like, it's been parked in my brother's garage I'm ever sorry, since. you never took it to another mechanic to say what's wrong with it? No, I just left it. Like, I was... So I how are you going to... Okay, what is it you're... What are you suing for today? You want your money back, but you don't have a refundable purchase. You have a purchase of a used car with a very specific warranty, 30 days engine and transmission. I have evidence that you took it back there two times, and both times they did something to help you. Mm -hmm. And one of the times they replaced the transmission. So what is it that he did not honor of the 30-day warranty? Because what you've got to understand is this is not a brand new car. There's no, no lemon law covering this. You'd have to prove to me that he didn't honor the warranty he gave you 
in order to have an issue here. Yeah. Okay. And if he didn't honor it, like, if, in other words, you have a 30-day warranty. In the middle of 30 days, you take it back to him, your transmission blows. Hey, I've got engine transmission. He says, <laughs> you're on your own. And then you have to go somewhere else. It costs you two grand to get it done. You mm -hmm. come here, you sue for two grand, he's got to pay the two grand. You mm -hmm. follow? That's how this would work. But what you've got is, I've changed my mind, I don't want this car, it's a piece of junk. But that's the kind of thing that you've got to study before a 21-year-old goes out and buys a car who knows nothing about cars, yeah, right? No, because it's that. basically as is, except for whatever exp express warranty there is. The express warranty is for 30 days engine and transmission. The time, that stuff that you brought back the first time wasn't even covered, and he did it. And then the stuff that you brought for the second time, you know, was covered. But did you, how did would wheels, four wheels fall off a car? What happened there? We got a call at the place and my assistant took the call and she says, Bianca's on the phone, four tires fell off the car. I says, what? How can four tires fall off the car? Called the tow truck right away, sent him there. Tow truck driver called me and he says, she drove over spikes or something and it's not four tires. Do you have tires. any evidence of any of the stuff you're saying or you just came here No, that I'm yeah. telling you, that's what I was told. You know, they sent a tow truck driver and towed your car the first time? Ma'am, they never sent a tow truck driver. Is that what you said or no? We sent a tow truck to tell, but he says there's nothing I could do. She got a flat. The oh, tires aren't tow off her. the he car. Didn't tow her. All right. The tires weren't off the car. Okay. Um, you don't have a, a legal case to get back the money that you paid for this car. You have a 30 day warranty and that's all you have. Everything else is on you. So know what you're buying before you buy it. Um, have a mechanic take a look at it. Bring somebody with you who knows about cars. Preferably have a mechanic take a look at it. So I'm sorry, but my verdict in this case is for the defendant. Thank you, Your Honor. So he getting over on money. So the plaintiff fails in her bid to get her money back, and she does not want to talk. She's on her way out of the courtroom. Mr. Majorani, he's on his way out of the courtroom. He says, I pronounced his name right. Majorani, right? Thank right? you, Doug. Gentlemen, you're, John Majorani. You're welcome. You, you, you obviously tried to help her out. Yeah, I mean, well, you, you know, good. I'm doing this 35 years. Yeah? Cars don't break cars. People break them. But we stand behind it. We fix whatever we got to do. We do the right thing. I'm doing it a long time. I know how to take care of people. Good and you know. try, but you can't make everybody happy. I know. All right. But, Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great okay. day. Thanks. Congratulations. Okay, Harvey. Okay, I can make this short and sweet, Doug. Uh, you can negotiate any warranty you want. It doesn't matter what the seller says. You can drive a hard bargain.